Hi again, and welcome back to Lair Camper. I'm Tracy, and today we're going to talk about annual inspections and some regular maintenance tips to help keep your camper in tip-top shape. I'm sitting in one of our beautiful campers, where, as I'm sure you are aware, I won't find any seatbelts. The reason there are no seatbelts back here is because passengers are persona non grata when they're traveling. What you may not know is the reason for that, and the reason is simply suspension, or in the case of your camper, lack of it. When you're traveling down the road in your tow vehicle, your vehicle is equipped with lots of suspension that gives you a nice smooth drive as you go down the road and keeps you nice and comfortable. On the other hand, if you were sitting back here as you traveled, you'd find yourself bouncing around kind of like this as you went down the road. The evidence of that would be when you get to your campground and you open your cupboard and discover that your dishes aren't quite where you left them. As you can imagine, all that jostling can have an impact on certain elements of the camper, such as your caulking and tires and even your frame. So it's important to do regular visual inspections. We recommend that you do a circle check or walk around your camper before every voyage. As well, it's important to do an annual inspection and we're going to talk about a couple of those elements. First up, let's talk about the caulking on the camper. As we know, one of the great things about our fiberglass campers is there are very few spots for water to get in. That said, where we have windows, egresses for our outlets, or even our outdoor shower, caulking is required around those elements to keep the camper watertight. Your caulking will, from exposure to the elements, such as the sun, or as well from that bouncing we talked about as you go along the road, over time wear out and may need to be repaired or replaced. So in order to inspect it, the first thing you're gonna do is take a damp cloth and wipe the area clean. And then you're going to follow along the bead of your caulking with your finger and you'll look for any cracks, any missing bits or any flaking. You're gonna go all the way around and look as you go. If you do find caulking that needs to be repaired, the best thing to do is to strip the entire bead of caulking and reapply. We will demonstrate how to do that in an upcoming video. Another area that does require regular inspection and maintenance is your frame. As we mentioned at the beginning, your frame is going to be subject to lots of pelting as you go down the road from road debris and that's especially the case on our campground roads which are typically made of gravel or dirt and are not smooth pavement. So the other thing to keep in mind that your camper is being towed behind your tow vehicle which is also picking up additional spray from the road and will impact the frame. Just like on your tow vehicle, stone chips can lead to rust if they're left untreated. If you do find stone trips or rust beginning, the first thing you want to do is just grab a little bit of sandpaper. You're going to do a light sanding and apply some rust proof enamel. So if you've driven down a campground road, you may have encountered a pothole or two. And if you've ever had occasion to try backing your camper into a campsite in the dark, you may have perhaps run into something you shouldn't have uh, say for example a close encounter with a fire pit. Yes, I've done that. Um, the good news is that in that case there is a way to check your frame to ensure you don't have any significant damage. Simply put, all you need is a block of wood about 10 inches high, usually a 4x4 four four will do the trick, and all you're going to do is Chalk your wheels for safety to start. Then we're going to raise the camper up enough that we can get our blocks underneath the straight rail edge of the camper, just near the front, but in the straight rail part. And we're going to put them on both sides. Once that is done, we're going to lower the camper onto the blocks and raise it off the front tongue wheel so that it's supported by the blocks themselves. Now 
we're going to apply some weight. If we have wobbling in front, that's going to be indicative that we may have to have the frame inspected for other damage. If it's nice and sturdy, then you know you're good to go. Last but certainly not least are your tires. Your tires really are where the rubber meets the road when it comes to towing safety. It's important to check your lug nuts and your tire pressure before every trip. Overinflation or underinflation can adversely impact your towing capacity and your safety by causing too much sway. In addition, part of your annual inspection should include checking your tires for wear. If your tread is becoming close to the wear bar that's built into the tire, it's time for some new rubber. Be sure to replace your tires with the same size that were originally installed on your trailer at delivery. For more detailed guidance on tire maintenance and towing safety, you can certainly check out our towing guide posted on the LAIR website. As well, as we know there are many components that require cleaning and maintenance, you can find many tips and best practices in our owner's manual also posted on the website. Thanks for tuning in to Trillium TLC.